Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we dissect, discuss and dive deep into the gaming world. Today we're navigating the starry expanse of Bethesda's ambitious project Starfield and why it unfortunately turned out to be more of a supernova than a shining star in the gaming universe. I'm Danish Bokori and over the next few minutes we'll explore three critical lessons Bethesda needs to learn from Starfield's failure. So let's get into it. Lesson 1. Design games to be fun, not just long. Bethesda set out to make Starfield a game for the ages something players would engage with for over a decade, much like they did with Skyrim. However, there's a stark difference between the two. While Skyrim captivated us with its rich world, deep lore, and engaging gameplay, Starfield felt like a journey through an endless void of sameness. With over 1,000 planets to explore, it sounds exciting, right? Well, not exactly. The novelty wears off quickly when you realize each planet feels like a copy-paste of the last, lacking in variety and depth. The universe is vast, but if every corner of it feels identical, exploration quickly turns from excitement to tedium. Bethesda's vision of longevity seemed to prioritize quantity over quality, leaving players wandering through a galaxy that felt lifeless and repetitive. The takeaway here is clear. It's not about how big your game world is, but how engaging and varied the experience within it can be. Lesson 2. You can't expect players to fix your game. Traditionally, Bethesda has enjoyed a symbiotic relationship with modders. Games like Skyrim and Fallout have thrived for years beyond their release thanks to vibrant modding communities. However, Starfield leaned too heavily into the expectation that modders would pick up the slack. This expectation backfired spectacularly. The problem at the core of Starfield was that the base game itself failed to capture the hearts of players and modders alike. If the foundation isn't solid, no amount of modding can fix it. Bethesda seemed to forget that modders enhance games that are already engaging, not salvage ones that missed the mark. This leads to a critical realization for Bethesda, the success of your game can't hinge on the community fixing or filling out your universe. It's the studio's job to deliver a complete and captivating experience from the get-go. Lesson 3. Under Promise Over Deliver Bethesda's marketing machine set expectations for Starfield among the stars. The game was touted as Bethesda's next decade-defining project, a game so vast and engaging that players would lose themselves in its universe for years to come. However, when the game didn't meet these astronomical expectations, the disappointment was palpable. This is where Bethesda needs to take a page from From Software's playbook. Elden Ring was under-promised but over-delivered in every way. It's a lesson in managing expectations and then smashing them with the quality and depth of the gaming experience. Bethesda needs to learn the art of tempering expectations, ensuring that what they promise aligns with what they can realistically deliver and then strive to exceed those expectations. Wrapping up, Starfield's journey teaches us that in the cosmos of game development, ambition needs to be matched with execution. Bethesda's vision of a game that would captivate players for a decade was noble, but the reality was a universe that felt as vast as it was empty. By focusing on creating fun, engaging experiences, not relying on the community to fix foundational issues and managing expectations carefully, Bethesda can hopefully navigate back to the stellar reputation it once held. As we look to the future, let's hope Bethesda takes these lessons to heart. After all, the gaming community thrives on successes, not failures. What are your thoughts on Starfield and the lessons Bethesda should learn? Drop your comments below and let's continue the conversation. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming insights and discussions. Until next time, keep gaming!